What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cornelia, back with another episode of Black News, a podcast where we break down current events, hot topics, and local stories involving Black people. Now let's get into it. It looks like it's going to be a slow news week, and I'm saying this the day that I'm recording this, so fingers crossed, y'all. When I say slow news week, I mean, it'd be a lot of bad stuff happening to black people. And so, hey, I'm, we need a break, dog. This year has been insane. I may, before we wrap up this year's black news uh, episodes, and I think next week may be my last week for the year because I'm taking off for the holiday break. So I will not be recording podcasts. So most likely next week's episode will be it for 2023. But I may do, if nothing crazy happened, I may do like a top stories or craziest stories of 2023 because we done been through it. Through Carly and the fake kidnapping, having her wig left behind in the car to celebs who shall not be named out here allegedly acting crazy to Kiki Palmer mama going off on the phone like it's y'all this year has been insane so I made to a re- recap but with that this week seems like a quiet week and I'm hoping because again we fatigue with the the doom and gloom for black folks so this might be a quick episode unless something crazy happens after I record and I have to come back and double up on them But before we even get into the bulk of the episode, y'all remember that man who smacked that lady with the folding chair on the Alabama River Dock? Well, y'all, that man done beat the charges. He got off and only got um, community service and a small fine. Can you believe it? Now, this man's name was Reggie Bernard Ray. He was seen wielding, according to the news reports, wielding that folding chair as as a weapon. Well, he had his 90 days susp- he had his 90 day jail sentence suspended and now he's ordered to perform 50 hours of community service and pay $357 in court costs. Y'all, I was surprised. I was I was convinced that man was going to prison, okay? What's them that what's that terrible jail down south where they still be treating black people uh poorly? I know it's all of them, but you know there's that specific one. I thought they were going to put that man in there because when he smacked that lady with that chair, she wasn't even doing nothing. He hit her with that chair with the full power of all of the ancestors who were done wrong in the southern states of the United. Okay, that man, I was convinced. I was like, oh, that man going to do hard time. They're going to put him on the chain gang. Give him the stripe outfit. They're going to get that boy the stripe outfit and put him on the chain gang for what he did but nope that boy beat the charges i can't believe it some of them other people got 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 i don't know and i haven't seen an update about the riverboat captain well not the captain the person who the black man who threw the hat up in the air and called and did the bad signal the black symbol um the black signal i don't know what happened to him I will update once I do some more due diligence, but I immediately saw this come across the time and I was like, you know what, let me update the black news listeners because I'm sure y'all were like me and thought that boy was going to the slammer. Okay. Glad he out. Glad he unscathed, but who? Anywho, that's that. Let's get into some actual topics. It ain't looking too good for old Johnny. It is not looking good for old Johnny boy. Hey, Jonathan Majors, he's in trouble. I think I think that boy might be toast. I don't know. Allegedly. I'm going to say, hey, allegedly. I don't know. That boy, it, it ain't looking too good. So in case you missed this, because I have not talked about this. There have been a lot of other things going on. Hence the last few weeks of news. Okay. For the blacks folks. uh, Okay. But Jonathan majors has been in court for a couple of weeks now dealing with 
the assault charges that he got uh, that were brought against him a few months ago by his now ex-girlfriend Grace I believe her name is Grace Jabari if y'all remember there was news that hit the streets hard that they were in a cab together in a car some some sort of vehicle where an, an altercation broke out she then went to the police where she said and alleged that Jonathan Majors beat her up in a car, in the back seat of a car, hurt her finger, broke her finger, did a bunch of stuff to her allegedly, and text messages leaked or comments and statements from her leaked where she was recanting that story. But the prosecutors in New York City said, "Uh uh-uh, we still gonna press charges anyway. So now we are in dealing with court in regards to that situation. Now, before I continue on, this double backs on what we talked about maybe last week or a few weeks ago on Black News when I said, you, the human being, doesn't get to decide what goes to criminal court, right? This is the perfect example. From my understanding, Mrs. J- Miss Jabari recanted and tried to keep this situation out of court and did not want to press charges but the city of new york and i don't know if it's the city or the state prosecuting this case said we don't care what you said we taking this to court so again in this case other cases you the person don't get to come in and be like you know what i don't want to go to court or you know what i want to go to court for criminal cases civil you got a little more say in it and we again we learned this by watching law and order svu and i'm only saying that because we didn't actually learn it watching law and order svu but i know a lot of people don't really be like researching and reading but y'all watch 30 law and order up until thought about 30 seasons y'all don't watch 30 seasons of olivia and detective stabler and them and ice t and them doing this and y'all saw the da the prosecutors deciding what has a viable case for them to take to court same applies here okay anyway the crazy part about all of this outside of allegedly there being some abuse is what we are finding out as pedestrians receiving information and news. The first thing that had every black people just, y'all, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Grace Jabari took the stand, allegedly, okay, and said that Jonathan Majors pressured her to act more like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King. Y'all, I... I'm going to read the news article for context. This is an article. It says, during opening arguments for Major's domestic assault trial in New York on December 4th, the Manhattan Assistant District Attorney alleged that the 34-year-old actor psychological, used psychological abuse to manipulate Jabari. He claimed that Jabari said, Majors told her she needed to make sacrifices like the former first lady and the late wife of Martin Luther King Jr. According to this person, he told Grace Jabari that she needs to live up to the standards of Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama to make sacrifices for him because he told her, I am a great man. He told her that she needed to comfort herself or to comport herself in the way he needed her to be. The prosecutor, all, the prosecutor also said that Majors manipulated Jabari by threatening suicide as a means to control her. The couple met on the set of Ant-Man and dated for two years prior to their breakup following an argument last March. He began to snap at Grace Jabari and become manipulative. He even threatened suicide to control her, said Perez, adding that Majors demanded total compliance. Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama, my brother, my, my brother, Coretta Scott King, the wife of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Coretta Scott King, the mother of Bernice King and the rest of the King children, Coretta Scott King, the woman who 
took over and handled and managed the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Grace Jabbar got to act like Dr. Uh, Greta Scott King. Michelle Obama. The Ivy League graduate Michelle Obama. The Princeton and Harvard graduate Chicago's very own South side of Chicago's very own Michelle Obama, the, the former board, um, cedar or sitter of a medical, of a hospital. If I'm not mistaken, um, uh, first lady to the, pre- to the former president of the United States, the, f- the first lady, the wife of one, my favorite president, Michelle Obama, that, that Michelle, that miss Michelle, you talking about miss, you talking about Michelle, you talking about Shell? Shell from over on the south side. Shell, Shell, Shell Robinson. Michelle, Michelle Robinson. That Michelle, sir. Let me tell y'all something. When you date people, date people for who they are. I understand in relationships we go through ebbs and flows, and there's different iterations and versions of ourselves, and our partners have to go along for the ride. Now, let me back up a little bit quickly. They don't have to do nothing. People don't got to do nothing. But ideally, you will want your partner to be able to go through these ebbs and flows with you. Right. And while we do change and we can change and make adjustments in relationships because relationships require compromise and you have to blend your life with someone else. So that does require some some bending. Okay, a little bending. But you can't. Turn someone into someone that they're not. You know what you can do? Find who you want and and be with that person. So if you wanted a Michelle Obama type, you need to find a Michelle Obama type. If you want somebody like Coretta Scott King, you can go out and find someone like Coretta Scott King. Not making someone who is nothing like those people into that person because that doesn't work. Now, the other irony in this, and a lot of people on social media, I ain't gonna even go too deep down this 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 path. But people brought up the fact that Miss Jabari is a is a as a white woman, and that it is interesting how Jonathan Majors his ideal for a type of relationship and woman that he wanted and required and said would be best for him was even visually and culturally different from what he chose. Now, do you have to be a black woman to uphold certain values and ideals? Absolutely not. So who knows if he was meaning and and wanting to form her into a black woman. All I know is if you get in a relationship and you expect them to be a certain type of person, you should have saw signs of them being that person when you first got with them. Because it sounded like she wasn't up to that, sir. She, It wasn't going to work. Now, also adding, Jonathan Majors and Megan Good are now in a relationship. Okay? She be at the court shop. She be down to the courthouse every day by his side in support, holding hands, interlocked. Okay? Not just that little class. Fingers intertwined. They go together. Okay, they are together in a relationship and have been for a few months now, at least from where we're standing. So he could have actually found the type of woman that he was looking for. But again, you should you should have should have thought about that from the start. Stop trying to make people fit into an ideal or a mold that does not belong to them been in that type of relationship before I've dated a man who ended up being extremely mean to me because he thought bullying me into the version of of a woman that he wanted was going to work instead of finding the type of woman that you want but the gag was them type of women didn't want him now we could be in that situation with old Johnny maybe before he got popping and got that that Creed three body. OK, maybe before that he could not get that type of woman. And now that he own. He can. I don't know. Allegedly who's speculation. OK, Spe- uh, the 
overrule, oh, sustain. I don't know what they be saying, but I'm just saying maybe that is the case, maybe not. The other thing that has come out in the court case are text messages. Now, there was a lot of back and forth about what actually happened. Did he actually physically assault her? I saw today that the cab driver or the car driver was on the stand saying that she was attacking him. However, somebody done dug up some text messages that pretty much show Jonathan Majors addressing that he did do something physical to her at an earlier time and date and, uh, and try to persuade her to not go to the hospital and get it checked out because he did not want any backlash coming towards him. Now, per another article, it states, the prosecution read the jury, the messages timestamp September 22nd, 2022, three days after Grace Jabari, a 30 year old dancer and Majors' ex-girlfriend alleges he flew into a rage in their shared North London home while he was filming magazine dreams. Per the article, the text say, it's just fake Majors texted Jabari. And you have, I fear, no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital. They will ask you questions. And as I don't think you can actually protect us, it could lead to an investigation, even if you do lie and they suspect something. Jabari texted back. I will tell the doctors that I bumped my head. If I go, I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? Now, what I'm reading in the article, it does not specifically say you hit me, you hurt me, but it does allege that something happened and that they both were aware of it. Now, I don't know what's real or what's not, okay? We have seen cases where both sides alter the truth. Some flat out lie and some be telling the complete truth. Who knows? We are going to be on standby watching all of this, but this is really unfortunate. And I hope that both sides come out of this with a, with a sense of finding some type of help or support, right? Whether it be help and support for being allegedly abusive or not being able to handle your emotions or whether it be support after dealing with a traumatic event and, and, and being in this situation, whoever need whatever, I hope they find it because this is a mess. And it also sounds like it, I don't think it's going to come to an end anytime soon because what could end up happening. And we've been seeing news reports, Jonathan Majors, could lose everything he got. We've seen people be blackballed before. He has movies already in the can. He has Loki that came out on Disney Plus. I ain't seen no advertisement with his face in it. Already right there, you can see what's happening. Rumors are saying allegedly that Marvel is thinking about replacing him as Kang the Conqueror. Who knows what they've already filmed. Magazine Dreams, which was an indie film that got rave reviews at Sundance, has been shelved. And any other future conversations about what he was supposed to be in has stopped. I also heard that he was supposed to be starring in a movie about Booker T. Washington. Or no, sorry, it was either Booker T. or Marcus Garvey. One of the leaders, our black leaders, child date and paused that too. So this ain't going to go well regardless because even to come back from these types of situations, it's a long road, i.e. look at Nate Parker. They still got Nate Parker on the sideline. So what do y'all think? Again, I'm just reporting what's in the news articles I don't have no dog in this fight. I don't have no side of this. I'm just reporting what we read. But what do you guys think? Okay. Do do you have some insight that I may have missed? Whatever it may be. Hit me up and let me know your thoughts. You can find me at Canelia on social media. Okay. Update y'all. I'm back. I'm back. Update. 
I recorded the podcast and a few days later, I'm back with an update on the same episode because the TMZ, T, TMZ edge done leaked the Jonathan Majors trial footage. And by TMZ, I'm going to take it a step further. It appears that the judge is allowing the evidence to be made public. And y'all know TMZ gone TMZ. They scooped up the footage. So one, I debated on playing the audio of the Coretta Scott King audio just because I, you know, I like to get into the black news, but I don't like to get too messy. But I talked about the Coretta Scott King audio. And so I think I need to play it. It's long, but I might play the footage. Also, there was another video, which obviously I cannot play because there was no sound of the incident that happened outside of the vehicle that people have been referencing for the last few months where there seemed to be a fight, a scuffle. Then Jonathan Majors tried to get away from his ex-girlfriend, former girlfriend at the time they were together. We saw that actual footage in y'all. There was a tussle. Jonathan Majors was like then trying to get away from Grace Jabari. Then he proceeds to run what looks like uh, the equivalent of 4.6 miles through the streets of New York City to get away from her while she was chasing after him. Y'all, I've never seen a man in dress boots run that far in my life. The brother had on brunch boots and ran through 16 New York City blocks. If it's loud, y'all, I'm doing this on the fly, okay? It's going to be loud. It's some neighbors and stuff, pedestrians walking through because I'm doing this on the fly. This is an update clip. I just had to tell y'all how in the video that man ran through the the streets of New York City, past every every camera in New York City in a pair of Durangos. Okay, the brother had on Durangos. He had ran. Y'all know they hard on the ankles. Y'all know the brunch boots be hard on them ankles. That brother got stamina. He does cardio. And he had to have on ankle braces. Cause he was running in them, he was running in them brunch boots. Okay. The shoe boots was shoe booting. He wasn't slippity sliding, clickety clacking. He was clickety clacking all through the streets. So with that said, I'm going to play the audio and then we're going to move on to additional topics. What are we doing right now? Period. This is actually, period. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you really know this? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I would so like sorry. To get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is going to be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't. So, like, I'm, I'm... No, no, do you understand that? Because because that team, that unit, right, Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you, right? If I am, I'm just going to say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm going to say, I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not going to think about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked, and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that, work, that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, you, two nights ago, you did not do that. I'm you sorry. did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan is everything. <clears throat> if it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would have felt bold enough like, oh, hey, let's just go to bed. Which I said to her, so I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clogged by whatever was going on. You know what I mean? Fine. I can take that. I, I, fine. I do have some thoughts about the audio, but for the sake of, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. 
I, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let it be. I got some thought. I ain't going to do it. That is the audio that I referenced earlier. And maybe at a later point, we will break it down and discuss opinions um, versus fact and fiction. So take take the audio and and and, and digest it. All right. Continue continuing on. On this week's episode, we talked about Jonathan Majors and the current court case that he's battling in regards to the incident that happened with his ex-girlfriend in New York City. We also gave a quick update about the folding chairman from Alabama. Hit me up and let me know your thoughts about all of these topics, some or none, and I'll check back with you guys next time. That's it for this week's episode of Black News, y'all. Thanks again for supporting the podcast by sharing, liking, subscribing, and rating five stars on your favorite podcast app. To find more information about me, you can check me out at at Cornelia on social media, as well as on my website, which is Cornelia.com. And as always, thanks for supporting, and I'll be back next week with new topics and a new episode.